Hello and welcome, Gemini. I am Pisces Intuition, here with your weekly reading. All right, Gemini. Let's see what is coming in. Okay. So apparently we have some communication coming in. Some very swift communication or swift movement. All right, Gemini, let's see. Hopefully it is for the better. Wow, okay, all right. All right, Gemini, so you are, um, the current kind of overall feel for this particular spread is the two of pentacles here. So it kind of feels like you're juggling. You're trying to make a decision. You're trying to figure some things out here. Um, we have the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Swords. We have the Page of Swords, the Ten of Wands, the Empress, and the Ten of Swords. Wow. Hmm. So definitely some painful endings here. Let me see, let me move this over. All right, so, hmm, Gemini, it kind of looks like a lot of you are really putting focus in either on work or just trying to take focus off of really being in your head. And definitely, like I said, kind of like a painful ending here. Yeah. Because we have two eights here. And, you know, eights in numerology, they talk about, like, you know, prosperity, um, abundance, you know, manifestation. But it just feels like it's been a struggle here. But now if we were to look at it as, like, 88, then that would definitely be, like, you know, higher calling. Um, you know, it's like that grounded energy, self-awareness. Yeah, and it does show, you know, hard work. It does show you trying to get through things. It just really kind of feels like you're stuck in your head. Like you're trying to make some decisions. You're trying to move forward. But it just, you feel stuck. Hmm. Somebody could be watching your social media, Gemini. Um, or perhaps this is you kind of watching theirs, trying to gain some insight, trying to um, get out of your head, because it's like you want some questions or some answers here. You have questions, and you're not getting the answers, so I'm guessing there's no communication between you and a person. It feels like I said an uphill battle, like you've really been carrying the brunt of this relationship, and it's like this has been a battle here. It's like really taking a toll. Yeah, and then with the Ten of Swords here, you know, this is talking about, you know, painful endings, feeling stabbed in the back, just feeling very, um, you know, I keep getting very overwhelmed, especially with these two. And, you know, the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords, you know, the best thing about Tens, of course, is that's that final stage. You know, it's final. It's done. And then we start over. We get those new beginnings. You know, we get the aces. So it just feels like lately things have just been a struggle for you. Um, you it's like you're feeling very confined. I mean, this could be with, you know, everything going on in the world. Um, you know, but it just feels like you've been feeling very confined. Like I said, really kind of stuck in your head. You know, trying to put focus in elsewhere. But it's just, like, not happening. And it just kind of feels like you're focusing on a person. I'm not really getting, like, obsessive, but I'm just getting, like, you're trying to close things out, like, you're trying to move on, but, like, something keeps holding you back, something keeps, um, like, pulling you back to where you can't fully move forward like you want to, and it's like it's been a struggle, and it's almost like you're being tempted to, um, like, maybe to look at their social media, or it's like, you know, no, I'm not going to do it, I'm not going to do it, you know, I'm trying to move on, I just want to forget this person, and then it's like, well, maybe just one quick peek, maybe it'll help me get over them, you know, like, something like that, and then I keep getting to that somebody, it's almost like um, you looked, you know, you kind of peeked at that social media, and you seen something that was really heartbreaking, that was really kind of triggering to you, and it just, it's like, wow, like, maybe I shouldn't have done that, like, why did I do that, 
because then it's just like kind of opening up old wounds. Hmm. Yeah, let me get a clarifying card here for the oops for the uh, Empress. So the King of Pentacles. Okay. All right. All right. So you're trying to find your stability. You know, you want that partnership. Because that's what it feels like. But like I said, it just feels like... Yeah, because it just feels like you and your person aren't together. It feels like they've moved on. Maybe you were waiting for them. Maybe you're kind of waiting. I, cause I keep hearing like, you know, waiting for them to come to their senses. So I don't know if this person... Um, you know, cheated on you, I'd, or just, you know, kind of looking maybe like grass is greener on the other side type of situation. I'm not sure, but it almost feels like, you know, you were trying to make things better, or, you know, you were trying to, you just kind of like, you know, hung around, waiting to see if your person's going to be coming back or not, Gemini. And it's like your person's moving forward. And like I said, I keep getting where, you know, somebody's peeping on somebody else's social media and they've seen something that was just, that's really bringing up old wounds. It's just, you know, kind of that, you know, kick you while you're down type of feeling. So it's like things for you are just kind of at a standstill. It's like you're not really moving forward. Um, you're trying to, you know, you're trying hard to move forward. You just want to, like, you know, cut the chains, cut the, you know, you don't want to be bound to this person. You don't want to be tied to this person. It's just like I want it over. I want it done. I want to move forward. I need to find a new beginning. Like, I need to get out of my head. You know, this hurts. I want to move on. So it's like you're trying to find something else to focus on. You're trying to, you know, put some work into yourself. You're trying to just kind of keep busy. But it's like, you know, there's slip-ups every here and there, and you just kind of look at them, and it's like, no, you know, I'm back to square one. And it just feels like it's been a struggle for you to kind of move on here. Like, Gemini, I see you regaining strength. I see you gaining strength, kind of stepping into that throne, like, okay, you know what? I'm not chasing people. Let them figure it out. You know, I'm going to do me. I'm going to move forward. I'm not going to be stuck here. I'm not going to be waiting around, putting my life on hold while you're moving on clearly with yours. Yes, it hurts, but I'm going to get past it. And that's what I keep getting for you, Gemini. All right. Let me go ahead and take some Oracle cards here. So we have trust issues, okay? So ascertain if trust issues are justified or unjustified. Trust is imperative to feeling safe and secure. Um, you know, like I said, it kind of feels like this person could have cheated on you. Because there's definitely a level of betrayal here, a level of, um, you know, pain. All right, so then we have take a chance. Go for it, good chance, set your intention for a positive outcome. You can't win if you don't play. Exactly. So, Jim and I, what I keep getting for you is, like I said, you know, you're going to be you're going to take those steps to move forward. You're not going to stay in this stuck energy forever. You know, it hurts. It's painful right now. It's definitely giving you some trust issues, definitely triggered some things within you. Like I said, especially if you were peeping on some social media and seeing some things that really kind of brought up old wounds or just rubs, you know, salt in, in your wounds. Um, but yeah, like I said, take that chance, go for it, you know, because Gemini, I see you moving forward. Once you get in that state of mind of, you know, I'm not going to be held back anymore. I'm not going to put my life on hold while you're out living yours and moving on. I'm going to do the same too. And, you know, Gemini, once you do that, it's like things really pick up and just go from there. It goes really quick, you know, to more positive outcome. All right. Yeah. And I see you. Yeah. Yep. So remember when I said uh, things pick up quick once you get in that state of mind? So this could be the one, and very soon. 
So I think, like I said, once you get in that state of mind of, you know what, I'm done putting my life on hold for you, um, you know, you hurt me, it clearly, you know, you've moved on with your life, so I'm going to do the same, you meet that person that could be the one. You meet the person that is, you know, um, making you feel good, you know, that you meet that person who could possibly be a soulmate. Um, you know, but definitely a romantic partner. And you're going to meet that person very soon. Once you step into that throne, once you make up your mind that you need to move forward, you're not going to allow yourself to be held back, you know, from this situation anymore. All right. Let's see. Is there anything this person wants you to know? Do we have any messages from the person? I'm sorry, I couldn't do right by you. All right. So, yeah, pretty clear cut. Um, like I said, it just kind of feels like this person did you a little dirty. Um, you know, I'm sorry, I couldn't do right by you. Whether or not they've actually apologized to you, I don't feel that they have. Um, you know, maybe they're scared to apologize. Maybe they just, you know, want to just put it in the past. That's why they just clearly moved on. Um, you know, again, take it how it resonates. But, you know, they are sorry for what they did. Like I said, whether or not they choose to step up and actually say those words, say that apology, I'm not seeing it. But, you know, it's definitely, like I said, uh, Jim and I, it's time for you to go ahead, move on, step into your power, know you're better than chasing someone. Um, you know, put that hurt, you know, use that to your best interest to help you move forward because you're going to end up meeting someone who could be the one, the right one for you very, very soon once you get in a uh, more positive headspace. So, all right. Well, Gemini, that is what I have for you. So I do hope this helps your situation. Thank you so very much for stopping by and hanging out with me. Um, have a great rest of the week, and I will see you guys again soon.